Last one, Michael, I'll let you take this one. Yeah, last up for this episode, think of what makes a good story and let that pervade your marketing content. Make an emotional connection first. People really have to know, really do have to know how much you care to care how much you know. Open with a bit of empathy. Um, yeah, we, we've used a lot of examples about how companies that are doing a really good job with products or services are doing something transformational in the lives of their customers. Well, you need to understand and meditate on what the pain is that they're solving. And if you meditate on what the pain is, you can find out very quickly that um, we all carry every day a set of things that are on our to-do list that cause us a little bit of drag, a little bit of friction, a little bit of anxiety. And it would really benefit us in our lives to have those things resolved. And this is true even for things that are fairly commoditized. Uh, I'll use house painters as, as an example. If someone is doing a search online to find a house painter, and this is pretty common, what we see a bump in interior painting going into the holidays every year, because maybe someone's hosting Thanksgiving <laughs> yeah. or Christmas, and maybe their parents are coming to their house, and maybe they feel a little overwhelmed with work, and they don't have time to do something themselves, and yeah. they need help. And there's the emotion. There's the emotional buying trigger right there. And my goodness, <laughs> what a heavy thing to do the yeah. show and tell of parents coming to the home of the the twenty somethings yeah. who are busting their butts, just trying to survive and make ends meet. Yeah. And they need help. And they're trying to find somebody who can come in, get a few rooms painted, hit yeah. the high spots and make it not excruciatingly embarrassing yeah. to receive the criticism Which, of the parents coming in and judging everything. Yeah. Uh, you, not, you hit the, that's, yeah, that's, that's a hook. It's so that's good. A hook. No, that's the, like the emotional trigger. So one of the things I've learned from like other really great marketers I've absorbed over the years is that I, this idea that people always buy, uh, they they buy for emotional reasons only solely. Uh, they buy for emotional reasons. And then they, after the fact, they justify it through rational reason. So we, my wife and I just bought a few, um, that's, guitar, a great, that's a great breakdown. My wife and I just bought a few guitar lessons for mm. our son. And so the, the reason we bought is because we want for him to like experience, he's already got a little bit of a talent for music. We can tell. Mm. So we, we want him to like fully get into that. We want to see the joy on his face when he can get the chord, right? We want, to, we want that, that emotional benefit of like, my son is like growing and developing and there's joy. That's the reason we bought the, because the person that we bought it from gave us that picture. Now, retroactively, we'll we'll justify the purchase by going like, "Oh yeah, they've got a music degree. They're a Nashville guitar player." And like, that's not why we bought though. Blah blah blah. Yeah, We're, we weren't looking for that. That's why we justify after we've already emotionally committed to make that purchasing decision. It's always the emotional trigger. The buying triggers are always emotional, especially with bit, with consumer That's purchases. That's good. I like that breakdown. We buy for emotional reasons. We justify what we've decided. It's the way human. It's the way our reasons. it's the way our brains work. Yeah. yeah, we tend to market. I think in the past we've tended to market. People. Everyone has tended to market with rational. We're trying to argue we're, people. We're, we're all, arguing people into the kingdom. We're all smooth-brained yeah. apes. Yeah, and we just walk <laughs> around trying to get emotional. Like, but the buying triggers are always emotional. That's good. Yeah. Uh, all right, I think you entered. You want to take us out? <laughs> yeah. Um, thank, thanks you so much for uh, watching or listening. Uh, this is the, the Dodgeball Marketing Podcast. You can find us on uh, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and LinkedIn. We're on all those places, uh, providing content, um, marketing content for you. Thanks so much for watching. Awesome. Thanks everybody.